Can you tell how old a parrot is? Hey guys, I'm Kaylin, the author of The Parrotless Bond. You can't really tell how old a parrot is, but there really are some clues that can help clue you in as to whether mwah, a parrot is a baby or an older bird. It's not for sure, but they are some clues. If you are new to my channel, I am the author of The Parrotless Bond and get to know African Grey and Cape Parrots, both available on Amazon. And I'm so thrilled because my IT man, which is my husband, is working on my store so that you could see my daughter's awesome parrot art on different things like t-shirts and cups. If you are used to hanging out with us every day, because I usually put a video out every day, then thank you for being here. Let's start talking about a parrot's age. When it comes to a parrot's age, you can't really tell. I should introduce my featured guests. Right here on my right, oh boy, look at that. That's my Indian ringneck on my left and the green cheek conure. And the green cheek conure, I think, is going to tell the Indian ringneck that this is her territory, oh my. And this right here is Kailani, my Catalina macaw. I'm waiting to see how that goes. The chase has begun. Hi, Milo. Hi, sweetie. Can I give you pets? And you want to step up. Hi. How are you, pretty thing? How are you? Um, part of telling a bird's age has to do with the species. We've got a couple different clues we can look at. Uh, and you know, the, like, the, the species is interesting. For example, an Indian ringneck that's male and whose ring doesn't show really is young. However, if someone's selling you a young male Indian ringneck, you have no way of knowing whether it's a female or a male whose ring just hasn't shown yet. So you got to be careful with that one. And there are some things that come out in species. Um, my cape parrots, for example, they are all when they're they're all hatched when their feathers come out with what I call the salmon chapeau. And then somewhere like between six months to a year, usually around eight, 10 months, the males lose that chapeau. And then they, they have, they gain that coloring on their shoulders when they're teenagers. Uh, and so you know when they're teenagers, but if someone is selling you, um, you know, a, a a young female, it could be a male that just hasn't lost its colors. So the species, sometimes the species will tell you because species that are dimorphic, it means that the males and females look different, like the way they do with the eclectus parrot. That's one of the most pronounced um, examples of dimorphism in parrots. But generally speaking with a lot of them, like conures, you just can't tell. And with conures, there's a different clue. The clue is going to be that when they're young, like humans, you know how like typically, <laughs> I like how my parents just walking in the scene. Typically young teenagers are kind of like so busy with their friends and you know, whatever they're doing that they don't bother. Um, hold on. No, no, no. She's grooming my hair back there. I was going to get my hawk headed pair for you. She's walking around down here, but I don't know. Then, all right, um, they're lanky. So when you look at a green cheek conure, if you notice that they seem kind of slender, I suppose they could be really old. Like, you know, sometimes when you're really old, you don't eat as much, you don't digest as much, you know, or whatever, that kind of thing. But generally speaking, if they're really sleek and slender, she's more filled out, then that could be a clue that you've got a young parrot. Um, Hello, Miss Beauty Salon. You know, people are going to think that's all you do. They are going to be like, that's all that bird does all day long is pull at her hair. She's not pulling at my hair. She's grooming it, lucky me. But anyway, so uh, clue number one is they're lanky. Clue number two, sometimes you can tell by the species if 
whatever color change has like happened for or hasn't happened kind of thing you know sometimes and i say it that way because it just sort of depends on the color change that's going to happen another clue number three is going to be sometimes their eyes give it away um i don't think milo has it i you don't have it with kaiks and african grays when they're young their eyes are a different color it's really funny um i'll be straight up with you and tell you that with my adult kaiks their eyes are a little like redder like on fire and <laughs> <laughs> and I think it kind of coincides with some of their personality. You know, some people feel like kaiks are uh, really like turn on you and are, I think, all but monstrous. I I haven't had that experience, but I do think sometimes that their eyes are like a little like just not angelic. Um, anyway, and with um, African greys, I'm going to show you a picture of a baby African gray, and then I'm gonna show you a picture of an adult African gray. And you can see one thing that's cool is that with the adult African gray, their eyes are kind of like silvery, very pretty. But anyway, so that's, that's something that can help denote some age difference. Again, it's kind of species specific. Come here, you wanna come, Landshark? No? Bye, Landshark. The last clue that you can look at, can I show them on you? I'm sorry you weren't paying attention. Is when a, um, a parrot's feet have grabbed onto perches for many years or decades or many decades, they can get worn, worn out. So, um, I'm gonna try to show you, do you see how pink and fine her feet her feet look she's relatively young and she doesn't have like metal perches or anything so her feet are in pretty good shape if your parrot is on a cement perch take it off you know people say that that's to rub down the nail uh, but all it does is rub down the meat on like their palm kind of thing so to speak or their foot and it doesn't ah. file their nails for them but when you rub that down, it doesn't get replaced. And that's one reason you can kind of tell, like if a parrot's feet are in bad shape, you can assume that, you know, they're not brand new, they're not young, they've been on several perches. So keep your parrot's feet looking young, keep them healthy because they can bleed, they can get cut. The skin, my veterinarian, my avian vet says it doesn't grow back. Come here, Lantar, come, come here. There you go, go right there. Um, the skin, now you're seeing my plucking land shark. She came to us as a plucker and unfortunately that, I, I was really hoping that would change. <laughs> Blurry, hawk-headed tail. Um, but so my avian said that that skin doesn't get healed, it doesn't grow back. So um, they can get infections from that. It can be really problematic for them and after all, you know, they don't sit like us on their bottoms. They only perch on their feet. So their feet are really important to them. So make sure that you keep a good perch because otherwise that's gonna be a surefire giveaway that your parrot has been, has aged some on um, a perch. Now that was a little bit of a side note, but now you've got four ways that can clue you into age. Don't forget, there's no really good way. Actually, one really good way is if they have a bracelet. Can I show them yours? Step up. Good girl, Landshark. You see her bracelet right there? It's nice and blurry for you. If the, their bracelet has the year on it, that'll tell you their age. Otherwise, unless you know, you don't know their age. But the four clues. Number one, the species when they're, and they've got things that um, are gonna show when they get younger or older kind of thing. Uh, like the way my male Indian ring neck, his ring is just starting to show. So we know that he's not quite an adult. That, that age is therefore a giveaway. Number two, we talked about, um, well, number three was their eyes. Now I forgot number two. What did we talk about, Landshark? Ah. And number four was their feet. <laughs> Milo, I forgot number two. Oh, when they're skinny and lanky. 
like like humans, uh, you know, young birds are a little bit smaller. I mean, they, they get to full size pretty quick. Gentle, gentle. Um, but they're not as full. Like, Kailani's not a good example because she's already full. She's got the girth of an adult. But when she was young, she didn't have that girth. And actually, guys, one other clue that really lets you know when they're really young is things like their beak won't be fully developed. So if you look at um, a baby parrot, their beak is gonna be a little smaller. Like instead of being the well-developed hook, it'll be a little more in, or their eyes seem bigger because they haven't fully, fully grown into it. But that's when they're pretty young and it's a small window. So you might not catch that window. But there you have a couple indicators that can help you. Yeah, don't eat my button, please. Yeah, hey, don't eat my button. They can help you um, have a clue, gentle, gentle, as to age. Not a super, super clue, but a clue is better than being clueless. Thank you for joining me in this blissful video. Please go check out paraplist.com because I'm so excited that I've got my products on there or getting on there. <laughs> They're so close now. Um, and like I said, it's my daughter's art. I'm very excited about it. If you have any questions, please post a comment below. I'm so blessed. I'm getting to the point where sometimes it's hard for me to keep up with comments. So if I don't get back to you, please don't think that like, don't think anything. Please assume that either A, I haven't had time to get there or B, I just haven't had time to respond to you. A lot of times I also try to respond in a video. Thank you for joining me in this blissful video. I love reading your posts and comments. I love hearing about your experience with my squawky bird. I mean, with your squawky bird. I will catch you in the next hawk-headed <laughs> video. Bye, guys.